Hey Internet, it's me, Ben. Every day before I head into the studio, I have a healthy, hearty breakfast of stuff like eggs, coffee, whiskey, don't judge me. Of course, I also have bacon. Well, that's not entirely true. I mean, who has their life together enough to eat breakfast every day? Well, that's crazy talk. Right, guys? Anyway, the point is this. If you are in the States, then you already know that bacon is one of the most popular breakfast foods in Western civilization. I mean, it's right up there with eggs, but this was not always the case. You see, for much of American history, breakfast would be something simple, like a slice of buttered toast. Put it over here with some coffee, maybe some orange juice, and believe it or not, there is one man responsible for changing the way America eats breakfast. His name, Edward Bernays. I know, I know. You're probably wondering, how could just one guy sway the minds of millions and hey, Ben, wasn't bacon already around? It's true, you're right. Yes, bacon or cured pork had been around in European cuisine for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years, but it was not thought of as a breakfast food. So in 1925, an outfit named the Beech Nut Packing Company hired Edward Bernays to boost their bacon sales. He commissioned a study, or I should say, a study. In a poll, Bernays had a physician ask 5,000 doctors the same loaded question. Is a hearty breakfast better than a light breakfast to replace energy lost by the body at night? Now, because of the way this poll was phrased, most doctors agreed that, yeah, a hearty breakfast was superior. So Bernays reported these scientific results to other doctors across the United States. He also embarked upon a broadcast and print campaign reporting these results along with advertisements for bacon. This campaign exhibited some brilliant not exactly ethical strategies. First, it used the appearance of objective scientific evidence. Second, this evidence came from trusted authority figures. I mean, doctors, come on. Third, it sounded like nutritional advice rather than an ad. Beech nut profits soared, and today, bacon is a major breakfast heavyweight. Each year, people consume more than 1.7 billion pounds of this stuff in the United States alone, and that is just counting statistics from the food service industry. A little more than half of all U.S. homes keep bacon on hand at all times. For emergencies, I guess. So there you have it. The story of how one man fundamentally changed the way America eats every morning. And that's not the only thing he successfully sold either. He popularized soap, cigarettes, even a war. True story. If you'd like to learn more about Edward Bernays, then check out my series on stuff they don't want you to know. Not that I would pull a shameless marketing ploy when we're talking about shameless marketing ploys. Anyway, while you're online, go ahead and toss me a like for this delicious piece of sizzling bacon history and let us know what you think. Should Americans throw out this dishonest science of breakfast and get back to the pre-20s meal of coffee, toast, and OJ? Or is bacon here to stay? Also, is anybody else hungry? Or is it just me?